Hey, what's up guys? It's Ike from Exploring Tech and this is what it is and what probably the title down here says. But just before that, in biology there is uh, there are lots of theories and experiments which of course there is with our subjects, but uh, there one thing uh, there is which says every race almost every race be it of humans be it of animals or be it of any kind of species let's take for example uh, has a certain graph related to their existence on earth so it is the graph that we are plotting time versus population number of uh, the particular number of individuals there so time in the horizontal and the uh, population on the vertical graph it starts at the very base where they are just introduced uh, new and then it started to rise with time and then comes a time when there is the peak that is the graph can go no further and that is the time when the species or the race has the highest population it can go no further or it reaches the peak of the graph and after that a time comes when there is a drastic steep fall of the graph which uh, further turns out to be the extinction of the race now these may vary uh, way more than we think it may vary and as we all have come to know uh, in real life that theories are barely anything near similar in real life because they are just theories you know but why the hell on earth am i talking about theories and that also with biology uh, in a, on a tech channel well you will come to know about that by the end of this video so redmi s2 ah it feels good to be back with tech you know anyway the redmi s2 the same good old snapdragon 625 with wrapped under the 18 is to 9 aspect ratio and those dual rear cameras so these are all the same old things but with the release of redmi s2 i think uh, xiaomi did something which made their decision or uh, an, an, the state that they are in kind of clear i think now the redmi s2 was uh, speculated or rumored to be sporting the xiaomi's uh, own cpu lineup with the surge s2 which was the uh, which had the predecessor as the S1. I'm not going to go into these things because I'm not uh, very much sure about the rumors or what they actually are. So I'm towards the bigger picture, if you will. So now the Xiaomi S2, or oh, sorry, Redmi S2 is rumored to be uh, launching in India as the Redmi Y1. I am a little bit skeptical about this thing because uh, the Redmi Y1, as I can recall, as far as I can recall, sported the Snapdragon 400 series CPUs from Qualcomm, uh, whereas this sports the Snapdragon 600 series. So I don't think, uh, rather, uh, it is too drastic a change for it to be in the same series, I think. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to uh, say for the past few minutes. So it, uh, fortunately or unfortunately be it, turns out, Xiaomi is out of ideas and they are lacking to somehow create a new thing uh, to stand out from the crowd and look different while they are just jumbling the same good old specs to put out one and give it a tag of brand new or else they would not have used the same good old Snapdragon 625 uh, with it being used in not less than 10 devices by Xiaomi in the previous year and even more so take all the present devices uh, recently released uh, by Xiaomi in 2018 the budget to mid-range segment a lot or uh, let's say almost everything on those devices are pretty much common except the SOC for the price which is uh, all, it's, all it's about everything's way too much similar for all the devices or the other way around let's say there are too many devices with uh, all the similar things but uh, nonetheless it's it's the all the devices are pretty good but that's not my point right here so if you can relate the crowd is getting bigger i think and so uh, whenever similar things happen to a similar smartphone company uh, they try to go the hype is all dead and they are the devices go unseen and off the radar so nonetheless it's all up to Xiaomi what they are up to and how they are up to 
So that's been it, I think. And talking of companies and similar incidences, well, I can give some. If you pay attention, you remember Asus when released the Zenfone 4, Zenfone 5, and the Zenfone 2 laser phones. And at that time, it was Motorola as well with the first gen and second gen devices. They were selling like hotcakes. And right after that segment of those phones, they just flew off the radar and their phones were uh, now nowhere to be seen or talked about or nowhere to be hyped as we are in the trends of 2018. Well, pretty sure Asus is making a pretty damn strong comeback, but that's also not our point and we are not aware of what Motorola has been up to. Anyway, that's been it, I think. Uh, this has been a pretty interesting fact which I can relate to biology with my studies, I think, which you uh, students out there like me can also relate, I guess. Anyway, that's been it. This is the third time I'm saying that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about in the comments. This is going to be really interesting if we share our thoughts together in the comments. So, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. And until then, hey, hey, keep exploring.